after my intensive research in a very through um, examination of all the Democratic Democratic candidates, I have decided to endorse John Edward as the Democratic nominee for this um, election in 2008. Not that I should have any say in this election at all because I'm not even American, but I think that John Edward would make the most um, sense because he's the one that will be fighting for you know the those who really need the help and he called himself the anti-poverty candidate and I think the mainstream media is trying to ignore him as best as um, they can they try to make it between Obama and Hillary but I think that he's the one that is most, progress most progressive and he's the one that's the most genuine you know, he have experienced personal loss and, you know, suffering like his son's death. You know, that's the only reason he went into politics. Um, you know, a real personal tragic loss. Like, you know, that's very genuine and it's very like, um, it's not the typical politician. So I think, um, yeah, especially with his wife health recently, I think that he has what, you know, he has... Um, integrity and honestly to lead and to do real things and change the system and to help the people who to give them the voice that they don't have um, another issue is my weight um, <laughs> I'm 5'7 and 5'8 but I weighed about 130 pounds so is that fat because I don't know I don't like really fat but it's the holiday season and I'm eating a lot and I really don't want to but it's really hard to like um, it's really hard to get you know to watch what you eat because there's so many things that taste good and it's like I want to eat them all but um yeah it's really hard especially sweet stuff like chocolate and all that stuff I really love them but um yeah but I know there's some women who are like weight like a hundred pounds and I wish him like that because yeah I want to be super skinny but um <laughs> um yeah so do you think it's fat 130 pounds tell me like I really want your opinions on this um I'm 130 and I weigh about what five eight so if you think that's fat please tell me um and my computer also died so I won't be able to make any video until I get it fixed. Hopefully I'll get it fixed soon, but because I don't have a job and I don't have any money, don't have any income, so I have some saving, but um, yeah, I have to get it fixed. It probably costs like 60 or 70 dollars, I don't know, but I don't know anything about computers, so I don't know how to fix it myself, so um, if you know how to fix, fix a computer, you, you're welcome to, you know, come in to my house and fix it for me. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, and if you're, you know, for sure. Like, if you know anything about a computer, you can come to my house and I'll let you in. For sure. Um, that's it, though. You can only fix the computer. Not me. <laughs> um, so, um, okay. Um, I guess I have to go or something. I don't know. But talking about food, I'm getting hungry again. Yeah, I really should go into fasting or something. I don't know. But anyways... I'm gonna bet you that John Edward will win the Iowa caucus on January 3rd. January 3rd. That's just my guess. I think he will win. I don't know why, but I just think he will. I'm a political junkie, okay? Don't tell me to fuck off because I don't, I'm not American. I'm gonna talk about it because I can. And I'm not drunk. But, um, hey, I can't help it if I wanna, you know, like politics. Is it bad that I like politics? Should I talk about like Harry Potter instead? Or should I talk about like my shopping or experience or like what kind of clothes I want or boyfriend or something like that? Or music or books or movies? I don't care about any of those stuff. Am I weird? 